it's wonderful to be back with you again, isn't it, Connie? Yes, it is, Connie. In the PACT programme tonight, we'll be asking, should all married couples be frank and earnest? <laughs> or should one be a woman? <laughs> and we should be talking to the scientist who crossed a table tennis ball with an extremely tall chamber pot chamber pot, and ended up with a ping pong piddle high pole. <laughs> we will also meet the car designer who crossed Toyota and Quasimodo and came up with a hunchback of Notre Dame, the hatchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> Motorists are advised to find a hard shoulder to cry <laughs> Here's the latest news on the recent bullion robbery in the area. At Carnforth Police Station, a man who's deaf as a post, doesn't speak English, has a terrible stutter, bad breath and squeaky shoes, is not helping the police with their quietness <laughs> one little bit. <laughs> and the search for a man who terrorises nudist camps with a bacon slicer goes on. Inspector Dick Hall had a tip off this morning, <laughs> but hopes to be back at work tomorrow. <laughs> After a series of crimes in the Glasgow area, Chief Inspector McTavish has announced that he's looking for a man with one eye. If he doesn't find him, he's got to use both eyes. <laughs> and last night, thieves broke into Scotland Yard and stole all the toilets. Police say they have nothing to go on. <laughs> Reports are coming in of two women who are knocking on people's doors doing a survey on bread. Those people answering white were given a lecture on the benefits of eating brown bread. Police suspect that they are Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> and seven wheelchair athletes have been banned from the Paralympics after they tested positive for WD-40. <laughs> a mummy covered in chocolate and nuts has been discovered in Egypt. Archaeologists believe it may be a pharaoh Russian. <laughs> took her 15 hours to hoover the house. Turns out she was a Slovak. <laughs> <laughs> the man who invented the zip fastener was honoured today with a lifetime peerage. He will now be known as the Lord of the Flies. <laughs> and here is some local news. The A6 is currently closed at Scotforth. A minibus transporting prisoners to Lancaster Farm Prison collided with a lorry carrying jam. All the prisoners escaped and the police are now searching for a load of jammy dodgers. <laughs> Today, a localised green man was found crushed on the floor of his van, covered in hundreds and thousands. Police say everything just got on top of it. <laughs> a man in Burton swallowed a dud coin last night. He is expected to be charged with passing counterfeit money later today. <laughs> Local grave diggers went on strike today and were joined by many more grave diggers who came out in deepest sympathy. <laughs> and now some late sports news. The headquarters of the Football Association have suggested that all clubs should have a new logo. 
For example, Luton should have a lute. Dundee would have a cake. Oxford City would have an ox. Chelsea would have a bull. Queen's Park Rangers would have a queen. Bristol City are in two minds. <laughs> <laughs> and Arsenal have backed out altogether. <laughs> Finally, employment news. Head of maternity at Lancaster Hospitals resigned. He says he's looking for an opening in the private sector. <laughs> well, that's all for tonight, so it's good night from me. And it's good night from her. Good night. Good night. <laughs>